Okay, so people didn't like the way my hitman walked in my drive-by test. Okay, well, maybe with the right music, it would work. Okay, I guess Chris of Stuck on 3D fame caught me. I created a pretty cheesy animation for my drive-by test that I just did. And I used a stock animation for the uh, killer Hitman Mario. And, uh, you know, it was just a stock animation move. And uh, it had a little bounce, probably not as realistic as it could have been. So I'm going to try to modify that and just see if I can make it a little better. Uh, than what we uh, originally saw there. Uh, the animation I used was from the horror movies motion pack sneaky walk. I used the uh, sneaky walk start and uh, sneaky walk loop and then the sneaky walk end. And I've got a path down here. I've constrained Mario to the path. I've uh, duplicated this opening frame because as he starts walking, he kind of stays in place, and then uh, he moves on. So I've added a double constraint point there. So let's make an adjustment to the animation and see if we can improve the animation as it is. Select Mario, uh, bring up the motion layer. Uh, as I said, he starts walking, and then he goes into the uh, walk loop right about here. So let's make an adjustment there of his arm and see if we can make that a little bit better. So let's make sure we got Mario selected here. Now let's select the arm, get the rotation keys. So we bring that up, and let's get the hand, and we'll see if we can make it somewhat more realistic move uh, by just adjusting that and let's see what happens. Okay, that helps the gun position and arm, but he still has this bounce to him in this particular animation. And uh, that's what probably would throw most people off. So uh, you can improve the animation somewhat, but still not quite there. So let's uh, take another look. I've added another Mario here. So we could compare and contrast. Let's bring him up. Basically he has the same move as the original animation. A little bouncy. Okay. So let's go and uh, once again maybe adjust this arm here to at least make the animation look a little better. So we're going to go up right to about here as the sneaking sneaking walk loop starts. Let's adjust that arm there. At least get it into position somewhat closer to what we want. And uh, like so. Move that arm out a little bit. Okay, and once again, we've got the arm in a nice position, but he still has the bounce, and the gun bounces along like so. So let's look at adding some uh, dummy objects. Let's go over here and just grab a box. And I'm going to bring it over here to this particular area here. Let's size it down a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the image map. Don't really need that. And let's do make it a uh, dummy object. We'll slide up here. Of course, we have hotkeys for that. Okay, so got a dummy object there. Uh, let me size him down a little smaller. And let's go ahead and just create another dummy object. Just going to hold down the control key and drag another one out. And let's hold the control key down and grab another one and slide it out here. Okay. Uh, let's uh, parent these. And let's uh, link these to this. And 
this will be linked to this. Let's call this path and this box here we'll call waste and this box here we'll call hand. Okay, so we have three targets here. Now let's link uh, the target to the path. The path here. Okay. Now it's to the path. And of course, it's going to stay right there. Let's go ahead and go down to where. Uh, let's bring up Mario. We got Mario up here in the timeline. Let's uh, turn off some things here. And let's now uh, go and find the end of the path. Let's find his constraint points there. Right about there. That's where Mario reaches the end of the path. Let's select our path box that we just created. And let's select the path down here at the end of the animation. So now, okay. And let's make sure that box, path box, follows the path and let's get it oriented in the right direction typically minus Y seems to be correct and so now moves along okay now I did have an extra constraint point in my path for his beginning move so let's once again uh, make sure the box is going to be selected at that path so let's add a constraint point let's just bring up the prop path box put it in our timeline and let's look at our constraint points and let's just simply click on that first constraint point and of course the last constraint points down here at the end let's add one more constraint point right here because Mario starts moving so I'm going to just click and copy that constraint point and then paste it down here. So now the box is going to hopefully move right along with Mario as he starts walking, continues to walk, and then he stops. There we go. It's got a little hitch there as you can see before it gets rolling. Okay, now let's look at uh, doing a reach target for Mario. Let's uh, bring up the edit layer and reach target and click his waist. Hope this isn't too painful for Mario and we will click this box here and uh, he is going to reach that box target and now he moves along like so and uh, the feet do a little bit of a move there they're a little bit high see so they go up a little high there maybe let's see if we can adjust that let's uh, get that path box let's clear that for now and let's uh, go back to uh, waste and let's look at a transform point for the waste let's start here let's sort of raise that dummy target so he's a little closer to his original position over here as you can see and then as he starts walking Let's create another constraint point where it gets him back down to the floor here. Feet touch there. Okay. All right. We've got him down on the ground a little bit. His feet kind of tend to shuffle a little bit. I'm not quite happy with that, but it's pretty close. He's got a little bit of a sneaky move to it. As far as this particular animation, you could probably find another animation, walk animation, that you could adjust more. But I'm going to use this one. He's kind of crouching and walking. And he's reaching that target. So now his body doesn't bounce quite as much as it does in the original. Notice the waist is going up and down. And this one it's not because it's locking into that reach target that we've got. Okay. So now let's think about... Uh, the arm, notice the gun is kind of bouncing there, so let's give it a reach. Let's do another reach target for Mario. And uh, let's select that particular hand, wrist, and we will select uh, this target here. And let's also select rotation for that target so we can adjust the gun. And let's close that. Let's select the hand dummy target there. 
and notice his hand is all flipped around doing real weird things. So if we adjust this, and let's hit Control D, and it'll turn off all our dummies. And now we can position, hopefully, a little better the uh, wrist and the target action there. And now the gun is being held steady. And uh, that may be a little bit more what you might want if he's tracking someone. He's holding that gun steady and he's crouching and creeping along. So that's a little bit closer to what we want. Uh, one thing you might want to do, let's turn on our target dummies again. Uh, let's make a duplicate of that hand and just hold down the control key, drag a target here and uh, let's call that look at. So now, uh, and we might want to uh, unlink that so it's kind of free to animate now on its own. Let's tell Mario to uh, look at that target. And let's tell the hand target to look at that target. And let's once again notice what happened there. Flipped around like crazy his hand. Let's uh, tell that target once again, let's see, get the right orientation, it happens to be Y is the orientation. Now, well, let's go back and let's turn that target back on again. And if we select it and animate it, notice he's, the gun's pointing and he's looking. And now, of course, we can animate this target. Let's get it turned a little bit better. Uh, we can animate this target as he moves along. That will be a separate little animation for that. It's typically best to get it further away from him. Not too close. It gets a little while when you get too close, but uh, you can move it around. So as he walks, you can animate this particular target and get him to uh, create a realistic look, which is uh, kind of cool and possibly better. Hopefully Stuck All will do a, a much better tutorial for this kind of concept. I think he already has done one somewhat similar. So uh, we can uh, create a more realistic move for our character. Okay, I think we've got a little bit better movement. Uh, hopefully somebody will improve on this even more. But uh, a little bit better movement for our Hitman now. Uh, whoa, what's going on? Oh, goodness. Oh, my. I, I, I guess I should have seen that coming.